I'm the history teacher who just decided to uh, uh, kill two birds with one stone and, and water a little bit while I'm going to tell you about the 18th President of the United States, U.S. Grant, Ulysses S. Grant. Grant uh, is not, really his highlight film is not his presidency, is what he did during the Civil War and what he overcame. When the Civil War started, Grant had the very worst reputation in the war, a cigar-smoking drunk. They didn't give him much responsibility at all. Uh, his first real success was the Battle of Belmont in 1861 in Missouri, where he won a, a pretty insignificant little battle. But they kept giving him more and more responsibility until by the end of the war, he would be titled Brigadier General and only General Winfield Scott at that time ever held that title. And he became the head of the whole military operations, and he was the guy that finally defeated Robert E. Lee and brought an end to the Civil War. So Grant became the most popular man in the United States, elected president of the United States. He would be our 18th president, and he would serve two terms as our 18th president. Now, he was not a politician. He was not prepared for the job at all, Grant. He was a warrior. He was a general. Um, he was not uh, politically savvy by any stretch of the imagination. But he became president of the United States. Grant was president. People wanted to kind of forget about the Civil War. They wanted to kind of forget about the presidency of Andrew Johnson, that guy who was narrowly uh, kept his job by one vote during his impeachment hearing and they put this grant in and, and, and what people wanted was uh, just some things to forget all the problems that we had gone through in the United States and so we see an emergence of baseball the first college football team Princeton versus Rutgers takes place while Grant is president you know to help forget all our problems P.T. Barnum opens the circus during Grant's presidency. So you're going to football games, you're going to baseball games, you're going to the circus. All these things to help us forget about all the problems that we had gone through. Also, lawn tennis was introduced in the United States when Grant was president. And in Philadelphia, the very first zoo, the very first zoo was created. So you wanted to have some fun, you've been to the baseball game, you've been to the football game, you've been to the circus, how about going to the zoo? So that's what people did for fun, some people anyway, when Grant was president. Some other things that happened, the, the very first postcard was introduced during Grant's first term. As president, there was a, a period called the Gilded Age. Gilded means that you kind of put this, this gold leaf over an object and it it looks real pretty on the outside, but the inside, it, it, it may be not so pretty, the Gilded Age. So when Grant was president, on the outside, there were lots of things that uh, looked real nice, that were going really, really well, but there were still some real problems that were going on in the United States during this period called the Gilded Age. Good things that were happening was uh, inventions. Thomas Edison. Edison, he invented the electric lights, the, the phonograph, Graham Bell patents the telephone. Uh, we're starting to move in the country. We're starting to really progress during this Gilded Age. In the Gilded Age, we've got this, uh, well, the Industrial Revolution's taken off, and because of the Bessemer converter was able to, to, to produce steel, the steel industry gets going. The steel is used for for railroads, to, to make railroad ties, skyscrapers, building improves, all because of the Bessemer converter uh, during the Industrial Age. Uh, so during the Gilded Age and the Industrial Revolution, uh, our natural resources were plentiful. We had, we had uh, lots of resources for the steel industry. Woolworths, the department store, this five and dime store, opens up and people are able to buy things relatively cheap. Railroads during this time were greatly increasing. By 1900 in the United States, literally there wasn't a corner 
anywhere in the United States that didn't have a railroad go through it. The railroads tied our country together, made us stronger, made our country smaller, improved everything, improved uh, refrigeration cars. No longer did you have to have the cattle drives. We could move our beef uh, in refrigeration cars across the country. We were just really improving in lots of areas. So things are doing good. We're improving. Man, we've got the circus. We've got, we've got baseball. We've got football. We're going to the zoo. The steel industry is taking off. The cities are getting bigger. Transportation is improving, all while Grant is president. And, and, and we felt pretty good about ourselves. We really did. We felt good about ourselves, and all while Grant is president. But, remember, the Gilded Age, on the outside it looks good, but on the inside, maybe not so good. And those things that weren't so good during the Gilded Age was labor. We had kids working 10-hour days, women working men working in these factories, making a horrible wage, working under horrible conditions, and who was there to protect them? Nobody. Being taken advantage of during the Gilded Age. Also, during the Gilded Age, in Grant's administration, there was corruption. Grant didn't know much about politics. He he trusted just about everybody within his own administration. Also, during Grant's second term, there was an economic depression. And so all the, the good times uh, that we remembered, all, all those good things, uh, they were forgotten pretty much because of the depression. So Grant, that was the, the presidency of Grant. I think it basically was a good one. I think he was a good man. One time, Grant got a speeding ticket because he rode his horse and buggy too fast down the streets of Washington, D.C. And this Grant, who smoked 20 cigars a day, this Grant who, who, who loved life, this Grant who this country fell in love with after the Civil War, um, his presidency is over. But I think overall, Grant's presidency is over.